What's going on guys, April's here, and this is going to be a kind of special follow-up video to the ENN that just came out today. Uh, the PlayStation 4, PlayStation Conference, PlayStation 4 reveal, whatever you want to call it, just wrapped up, and so I wanted to make some corrections to the PlayStation, or to the ENN episode I just released, as well as release some details about the PlayStation 4 that were announced today. Um, starting right off, the Final Fantasy release, which was not announced in the PlayStation conference, it's just a correction I had to make. The Final Fantasy release coming up is not called Final Fantasy XIII 3, which was kind of the big deal I made about it. It's actually called Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII. Kind of like that a bit better, they're going with the whole, like, dirge of Cerberus or whatever, where they're trying to take away from the Final Fantasy name, while still showing the importance of... <coughs> you know, the main character storyline, so that's pretty cool. And then Destiny is in fact going to be out on next generation PS3, or next generation, so PS4, Xbox 720, and potentially um, PS Vita, there was some speculation about that based on the source code on Bungie's website, and it will be out on PC as well. They just announced uh, the whole PS4 support and interaction in the PS4 stream. Now, the PS4 itself looks pretty incredible. I don't think I've actually seen physically the console yet, but as far as the architecture and build port goes, it has 8 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM. Now, they're making a big deal about it, but it's honestly not all that new. It came out in 2008 with AMD's 4870, but it is still faster than any RAM that you know consoles have used in the past, so that's pretty freaking awesome, and 8 gigs of RAM is pretty sweet. Um, the, they're using a x86 architecture CPU, and it's actually an APU, so it has the processor and the graphics all integrated into one, and it's supposed to be a really super fast um, GPU integrated as well, so it's going to be a really, really fast processor, really, really fast graphics. They've shown some demos with it, and it can do a lot of really cool stuff with the processing power in the PlayStation 4. And as well, something to take note of is running an x86 CPU means that support between, like, as far as developers developing games on the PS4 and supporting games with a PC release should no longer be a problem because it'll be easy to develop for, and the development for the PC version and the PS4 version should be about the same. So, and that's really cool to hear about. Um, what else do we have? Uh, demos for what was it? Drive Club was shown, and what was the other one? Oh, the new Killzone game, which looked pretty cool, and the graphics were supposed to be impressive, but over the crappy quality stream that we had, that also kept dropping every five minutes, can't really tell. But I know the graphics were impressive. Um, Diablo three is going to be, Blizzard announced that Diablo three is going to be released on the PS4 as well as potential for other Blizzard games. That'll be interesting. Somebody was making jokes that the reason that Diablo three flopped as much was because it was a console port. That's completely possible, and that would not surprise me at all to be honest. Um, but yeah, so Diablo three on the PS4, PS4, if you haven't got it already, the controller. It is still a DualShock controller, despite the rumors that went around. It's DualShock 4, and it has a touchpad on the front. It has some slightly different, and they look more like Xbox um, joysticks. And it has redesigned buttons and triggers. It has a touchpad on the front, a share button, which ties into something else that I'll talk about in a second, and a light bar. And the light bar connects to basically the Wii sensor bar, but it looks like a baby connect that you know sits on top of your TV or whatever and the light detects, and it's basically kind of for like extra move support for rotation of the controller, things like that. So that's pretty cool, and I like that they're making it really small. Like, I don't like having, uh, having you know, all the different sensor bars and stuff going on. It's all, it does have one sensor bar, but it's not huge. It's not going to be a big deal to deal with. Um, excuse me. There was also the Destiny release I told you about. Square Enix showed a tech demo that they showed about 10 months ago? It obviously would look a bit different running directly on the PS4, but it's basically the same demo, so that was kind of disappointing. And I'm seeing mixed feelings about whether or not they should release another Final Fantasy, whether or not they need to release a remake, whether or not they're just dropping Final Fantasy. 
considering they've announced some a lot of information about Final Fantasy games coming up, there's actually Final Fantasy here. Let me pull it up, but there's the Final Fantasy 13 3, which is called now Final or Lightning Returns Final Fantasy. And then there was another one I found on Amazon that was Final Fantasy. Let me find it here. It was actually really weird. I just stumbled upon it on Amazon and it was like some pre orders. Uh what is it? XI. Yeah, Final Fantasy XI. It's going to be released on March 23rd, 2006, 2013, on the Xbox 360, at least. It's Final Fantasy XI being the MMO, I believe. I could be wrong, because it's a, but this says online on the Ultimate Collection Seekers Edition. But, oh, and there's a PC release coming out as well. No, that was from 2011. Okay, so on Amazon right now, you can go and find pre-orders for Final Fantasy XI Ultimate Collection Seekers Edition for 40 bucks on Xbox 360. Final Fantasy XI Seekers of Adulin, Adulin on Xbox 360 for 30 bucks. Uh, Final Fantasy XI Ultimate Collections, the Collection Seekers Edition download for PC um, available for pre-order. Final Fantasy XI Chains of Promathia, Rise of Zillart, Treasures of Ot Ergen for Xbox 360 for 115 dollars. That looks like a remake collection that's already out, actually. Um, and then the Seekers of Adeline again for PC, coming out on March 26th. So there are some Final Fantasy things coming out. I'm not sure what exactly people are freaking out about, but that's pretty cool. I kind of want to get the PC version, but I want a hard copy. I wonder if anybody's going to have that. Anyway, back to the main point. Um... What else was there? So yeah, Destiny is going to be released on next-gen consoles, so that'll make things a lot better. Oh, with the share button on the controller. Sorry, I'm pretty scatterbrained at the moment. With the share button on the controller, the PS4 has built in. We don't know what the quality is going to be. We don't we'll know if it'll be just really shitty resolution or anything like that. But the PS4 is going to have support for video recording and streaming and screenshot taking and all that just with this little share button. Supposedly you hit that share button and it will allow you to just start recording your game, start streaming your game, save clips for later to go through and edit and upload to YouTube. And for the streaming, they're partnering with Ustream. I think Twitch people just kind of shut their pants and I don't know what the hell they're thinking, but they're partnering with Ustream. We'll see if they add support for streaming platforms people actually use later, but at the moment it's Ustream. But yeah, supposedly it can compress and edit videos and record from your games live right there. Then another cool feature is the game streaming option, which when you buy a game, it'll start streaming it to your PS4, and you can actually start playing before it finishes downloading. Now granted, you can already do this with a lot of games, not necessarily on a console, so there may be some limit of you have to download X amount, like with Blizzard games. So we're hoping that somehow they make it to where that doesn't have to be a huge download, but we'll see. They have a separate processor specifically for handling background processes and downloads, so you can do that in the background of games or while the console's in a low power state, things like that. The PS4 has a suspend mode, which allows it to go to basically like on the PSP, where you just flip the switch, it suspends, it's basically off but it pauses your play, se play session so you can pick it back up right where you left off without worrying about anything next time you come back. That's really cool. Uh, what else is there? I think that's about it that really matters at the moment that they've released. Hopefully we, see, hopefully we will see some more soon, but you never know. They could just kind of disappear. Oh, and freaking uh, Square Enix was just like, Enjoy E3, blah, 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 and everybody was kind of pissed. Oh, and it was confirmed for a holiday 2013 release. So that means holiday 2013, we will get the PS4. It does not look like a price has been announced just yet, but that will be pretty interesting. Oh, and something else they missed, which honestly pissed me off, sorry, I just threw my mouse, was that they're having, they want... The goal of Sony at the moment is to have every game you could ever play on a Sony product streamed to all your other products, which include the Vita, it includes um, your PS4, things like that. And so that means even your PS1 games, your PS2 games, things like that. Sounds great, but that also means that there's probably no backwards compatibility. 
that'll, that would hugely suck. I want to be able to play all my consoles or games, but we will just have to see. We will have to see. They did not confirm yes or no. I would really hate to have to rebuy my entire collections of games up there. We will see. We don't even know if this thing has an optical drive, but yeah. So that's about it. Wraps up this ENN update video. It ended up being longer than the ENN video itself, but I will try and get it up as quick as possible. Thank you for watching, guys. If you missed this week's ENN, be sure to check it out as it has all the fancy graphics and editing work that I put into it. Spent a lot of time on it, so please go check it out. Have a nice day.